It's the start of day three. Just finished breakfast, and we're gonna go to Ensenada, which currently doesn't look all that good. I remember it looking a lot better than this. You can always look this in the port. You gotta get in. The... Yeah. It's still foggy for some reason. I don't know why. Well, how are you guys doing today? Good. Doing good? Yeah. Excited about the tour? Yeah. You guys know what the tour is about? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that means I can take you to Tijuana, you won't even know? <laughs> yeah, uh, alright guys, so uh, let me do this myself. My name is Junior and welcome to Hawaii. I'm just welcome to <laughs> Ensenada, California. Uh, to, I'm going to explain to you a little bit what we're going to do today about the tour, alright? Alright, that's where you guys are doing a cooking class, alright? You guys like, you know, to cook and everything? Yeah? Nice. Yeah? You guys are doing some uh, salsa. All right, raw salsa. Do you guys like salsa? Yeah. Do you guys like spicy salsa? Yes. Yeah. All right, because the one you guys want to try, it's not spicy at all. Oh. All right? But you can add jalapenos or uh, bananas if that is the case you guys want. Up to you. All right? Up to you. All right? Uh, once you guys are done with the salsa making, uh, they're going to teach you how to make aguacate, guacamole. You guys like avocados and everything? Yes. You guys like uh, guacamole? Yes. You're going to teach you how to do that, all right? And once you guys are done with the guacamole, we're going to move on to the, to the next, to the big dish. Uh, and that's gonna be enchiladas. Enchiladas. You guys like you do? You guys know what that is? That is enchiladas. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Because uh, when you guys are done with that, you know you get to eat everything. We're gonna move on to the next one, and it's tostadas. You guys like tostadas? Ooh, you guys know yes. what tostadas are? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, in the whole entire time, you guys will be there right there cooking with your friend and everything. You guys are get, gonna get for free uh, margaritas, all you can drink. Sounds good. So welcome everyone. How you doing? Good. Good. good? Yes. You're ready for some cooking? Yes. yes. Are you hungry? Yes. yes. Thirsty? Yes. But not angry, is that right? Yes. Perfecto. We are so ready to start. Like what do you think of the salsa? Say, my name is Brenda. I'm going to be this time with you. I'm going to like see you cooking today with me because this is going to be like a little bit of the traditions of Mexico, like very typical Mexican dishes. We're going to go for fresh. We're going to go for tasty. We're going to go for spicy. Why not? And we're going to go for a little bit of the information that we can take back to home and we can just make some of these once we are right there. For paint the color representative of this area of the ranch for the most emblematic here of Ensenada. So we could later on, let's do one special activity, right, Brenda? Remember this painting back to home. I don't know who's the lucky one. So good luck for everybody. So family, I come back in five Mexican minutes for show us the evolution of this painting. Because family, in this way, you can see the evolution step by step. How I'm going to paint with the fingers and using my knee. This art is finger painting. So family, thank you very much and enjoy the cooking class. The first one that goes in the molcajete it's going to be the garlic. And the reason why we go for the garlic is because this one is going to lose all the flavor and that's going to be around the walls of the mocajete. Is this your first time making a, something? You've done it? Okay, so maybe you have an idea, you go give some pressure and then you, get, you know that you need to go around this, all right? So when you do this, when you go in this step, what you're going to have is all the uh, garlic and the pours or in the, you know, those little spaces in the molcajete. And at the moment, we're going to add the ingredients that are juicy. They're going to start like coming out and they're going to start getting all those flavors together. So if you're missing the garlic and the onion, you're missing all the flavor of your salsa. So those two ingredients all the time, they go in the salsa. Or you did a really good name. I'm going to show it to you and big applause recording. This is the way we want it. Just like that. We need this one to disappear. So we're going to go for the onion. She's going to be helping on the onion. Thank you. And if you want to stay here, it's okay. And you go the same. Keep the pressure hard. It's soft, but sometimes the onion can be more slippery. So that's the reason why you need to be there like more time trying to go around. But you're going to do the same that you that we just did with the garlic. So something that we have there is just the two most important ingredients for the flavor of my salsa. Any question maybe? Pregunta? No? Okay, we're good then. Because she's doing a really good job. So we're going to see. <laughs> so tell me right now. Uh, it feels soft, it feels hard. It's still a little, it's still a little bit from the center side. Yeah. Okay. And exactly like the like the texture that we're gonna need right now when we're making the onion or smashing the onion, it's like a 
like you know the Gerber, you know, like those baby food, baby food yeah? yeah, that is exactly the texture that we need. So we're gonna show to you the work, and she did also really good. So this is the onion. This is exactly how we want it. So big applause for my two helpers today. This is the way exactly that you need the onion and the garlic. Once you're gonna be. Oh, you put a tomato. tomato. Ooh, that looks so good. Hmm. I make it good for you. Yeah. <laughs> you can be happy. Oh my gosh. Is it good? So good. Let me try it. Come on, the They just eat a little. <laughs> I don't want to share. Oh no. Because I know sometimes it's unfolded. The red one, which is more sour, or it could be. That is really good. We have to match for a longer time. Mine is very good. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna try to match a few ones and then the uh, rest right there. Right. I like to make it very creamy guacamole. So I have to match for a longer time. Wake up. Taquito. Or not taquito. Very, very good. Tostada. Oh, I didn't take a picture first. So I was too. Oh, yeah. Fine. Take a picture. Oh, he's here. Oh, cool. 315. Our towel guy died. Yeah. Turn on the lights. So why don't you shower and then meet us there and I'll go get us milkshakes and go there. Sounds like a plan. Okay. These guys are trying to get in. Onboarding time is 4.30. It is 4.30. Y'all are late. We're live. We're here at the sushi place. They just undocked the boat, so we're about to start moving. We're gonna get another boat. Yeah, I watched them pull in the cables, you know, the, the mooring lines. And now we're moving sideways away from the pier. Sea day coming tomorrow. Yeah, I love the sea days. The boat is here. It's different from the last one. Okay, what floor we're on. Oh, we're only going down a little bit right now. Very well. All right, let's look in case number 14. So, we need to get rid of all the other prices, all right? So, this is round number one. You need to open five cases. After those five cases, you're going to receive an offer from the banker. It will be up to you to take the deal or not. So, audience, which one do you think you should open first? Seven, very well. Audience, open case number seven on your cards. Very good. Look at the screen. Let's open case number seven. 150. Ooh. Okay, it's a bit high, but it's okay. Let's try to guess which case has one cent, all right? Joseph, which one do you want to open up? Five. Eight. Eight. Very well. Audience, open case number eight on your cards. Look at the screen. Let's open case number eight. 125. Oh, okay, a little bit. 50. Less, but it's okay. Now, audience, if you open case number eight and you have $125, you have a match. All right? Give me a word. We have a match. No one. Come on, Joseph. We need something better. All right, audience, help me out. Which one? Five. 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 Two. two. Very well. Audience, case number two on your cards. Look at the screen. Let's open case number two. Yes! 25 cents. Give me a word. Do you have a much? That was much better. Next one, Joseph. Here we go. 20. 20. Very well. Audience, case number 20 on your cards. Look at the screen. Let's open case number 20. One dollar. Very good. That's what we want. Yes! Very good. There he is. One more time. All right. 25. Hey, Michael. Yeah, I think you might want to offer a little bit more. The maximum is still one thousand dollars. The minimum is still one cent. And oh, 
Yeah, he has three, three kids. Six, six kids. He really needs a money. Send it. Send it here. All right, so. If you don't take this deal, I need to tell you, Joseph. The next round, you need to open three more before the next one. And now, you can walk away with 171. I need to ask, deal or no deal? No deal. No deal. He says, no deal. Let's keep playing. All right, let's take a look at how your cards are doing so far. 82 cards on your way. 60 winners of $10 and one winner of the Casino One Play already. Congratulations, let's go back to the cases. Because that means, Joseph, you win a hundred dollars! Congratulations, Joseph! And don't go anywhere, we need to see how the cards landed. So everybody, give it up for Joseph! We have 98 on your way, 4